you, everybody. Um, in case you're joining us, yeah, this is Life in the Martins. And uh, I have with me right here the one and only KBK. You know, I will allow him to do the introduction of who he is and what his real name is, but we know uh, him as KBK. <laughs> it's nice to have you on the show, sir. Wow, thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah, the last time we met was at our music business conference. Correct, correct. Yeah. Okay, so let's get started. Let's start with let's let's start with the um, some basic foundational uh, information. I know you as someone in the music business space, right? So, can you tell our audience? Yes. What exactly you do within the music business space? Okay, um, first of all, I am Inu Noah Momodu. My first name is Noah, my middle name is Inu, my son name is Momodu. I am yeah. popularly known as KBK Junior. So if there is a junior, that means there is a senior. There is a senior, uh, yeah. My dad actually is a KBK Senior. My dad started the record label. Yeah, my dad started the record label before I was born, called KBK Sound. So I was born into the music business. Uh, my dad is actually like the first person to take the music business to the Edo North. I'm from Edo State. I'm from Isako. I'm from Mubekwe Equerry, to be precise, which is the um, Isako Central Local Government of Edo State. So I was born in Aochi. Grew up um, to find my dad actively involved in the music business. Um, yeah. Then as a teenager, I left Aochi to be to pursue my dreams. My dreams basically was that as a kid, as at 10 years old, I was already, I was already sure what I wanted to do. I wanted to do music as a business. So wow. before wow. before the age of uh, 12, I could play five musical instruments already. <coughs> uh, wow. And I've, and wow. I've, yes, and I've been a uh, music director to students choir. So um, this, when I almost turned 16, I left my family from Aochi to Benin to pursue that dream, to build the ark. My name is Noah, so naturally you know that I'm the ark builder. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to go to Benin to, <laughs> so to, to, to build that ark, to um, pursue the dream, to, to effectively set up a business that, um, and you see the rest, you see the history. So I, 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 mean, I started as a music director, music producer, yeah. um, I'm a man of many parts. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a multi talented, multi faceted uh, person who runs a multi dimensional company. Art Music International is the brand um, that's yeah. giving birth to several other brands. Yeah, what we do basically is music production, music distribution, music management, A and Arrow. Um, then, we, um, then later on, we diversified into media. The media aspect was a vision that um, was generated by my wife. Well, yeah. while we were still friends, we started cutting. All she wanted to do was media, broadcast, music, professional recording and prefer, uh, performing artists. So as soon as we got married, we, start, we set up the brand called Proclaim Media Africa to give expression to our dreams. So we, 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 we diversified into TV, uh, which is Proclaim TV, uh, radio, we started producing content for TV and radio stations, started um, we started um, media agency, advertising agency, and then we to independent um, media consultants. So that's how it has been. So right now, right here, I consider myself as an entertainment executive or as a music business professional. So yes. when the popular for entertainment it is management, production, marketing, and um, management, production, promotion, and marketing. Those are the four uh, pillars that we are building strongly as a brand, as a couple, as an individual, and also as a missionary. Very important. <laughs> Amazing. I, I think that young people should come and pay for tutorial. <laughs> they should come and pay for tutorial to learn, you know, how, <laughs> how to build um, um, a media conglomerate with you, because um, it, it's very clear that from the moment you you knew what you wanted to do, you knew how to go about it. Yes. Okay. So we will get. I, I would like to um, ask some of the artists yes. you work with. 
because uh, some of our viewers will want to say, okay, I'm, I'm maybe hearing about um, art music for the first time, or I'm hearing about KBK for the first time. Maybe I will know some of the artists they have worked with. Okay, like I said, I started out as a teenager, I got involved in um, um, choir directing, play band, then, of course, mm -hmm. um, setting up and raising groups in the church. So I started out production with recording lots of groups back then in the 90s. Then for artists, I am more, as a music producer, I'm more giving to A and Arrow. I, I, I find my passion and my strength in um, going after the underdogs, discovering fresh talents and developing them. So in the era of production, I consider myself basically in the era of developing the artists. So people that we worked with, uh, in the, the, before anybody knew who Kefi was, we worked with Kefi. So we're oh. responsible for developing uh, artistry. Before anybody knew who Nusa was, you understand, I discovered yeah. Nusa, started um, the development and everything. Before anybody knew uh, Samsung, most of the people that you know that are A-list artists right now, Samsung and, and I, we went to the same university. So my hostel, my room in, in my hostel was basically the Hazard Studio, where anybody could come to rehearse. Samsung, Erika Tanaga, a lot of people. So growing up in Benin, I had the privilege of um, working with people at their body stage, at their development stage. So and yeah. that's still my passion. That is still what. Uh, so basically, most people in the industry, we work with them, either as uh, uh, production, promotion, um, artist management, development, promotion. We work with, with, in with all that in all that space amazing i'm going to ask you about your educational uh, you know uh, foundations or your educational uh, uh qualifications because with all the things you've listed so far you know i would <laughs> i don't want to know uh because if if i am an aspiring you know you know music entrepreneur like you or there are other music entrepreneurs out there who want to who are asking themselves, how can I get all this level of knowledge to be able to do what KVK is doing? Is there some sort of uh, educational um, um, you know, qualifications you have, or you just learned this thing as you grew up, or you, know, you learned it on the job? OK, um, I, am, I am a street smart person. Most of the things I know most of the things I learned, even today, um, yeah. most of them are self-taught, personal development, but with yeah. great inspiration from personal, my dad, my dad is here alive. My dad is my first Whoa. mentor, my first coach. Whoa. Yeah, my dad, um, uh, my dad, I, I think he didn't, he, didn't, he didn't go more than uh, standard six in those days. Mm. You understand? So, but standard six is a big deal well in those days. Uh, okay. He didn't go to university. <laughs> yeah, but me, my dad is today. You is well articulated. He's very vast. He's a yeah. multi creative and talented person. So I learned most of the things that I know. You know, it's surprised to know that as as at age ten, my dad taught me taught me how to uh, incorporate a business, how to enterprise a business. You understand? He brought out files and he started teaching me how to name a business. How you get as at age ten? I'm not kidding. Wow. So most of these things that I know, I got inspiration from my dad. Then of course, when I set out early, I became independent and self dependent at 16. Like I said, I left out with Chief of Benin City. One thing that I've always done, I, I, I am a voracious reader. I give myself to books. I read a lot. Before pre-internet, we were reading. We are searching yes, for uh, materials anywhere. Yes. Uh, so library, I am still that old fashioned hard copy, open the book yeah. and read. I have loads of PDF yeah. files. So, and I'm particularly about reading content that um, directly affects you, the future you want to want to see happen to you. But for yes, um, education, to surprise yeah. you know that I got into the university seven years after I left secondary school. I got into the university by personal decision. You understand? Mm. To me, mm. let me say this. To me, um, the our formal educational system to me is a distraction for me personally 
if you know you if you already know the goals you want to pursue, you already know what you want to achieve. One of the biggest crises I had, challenges I had as a teenager was where do I go to to study what I want to do, music. In yes, the early nineties, I left sir. I left uh, secondary school in nineteen ninety two. I came to Benin in 1993. All these universities and polytechnics around the two states, how many of them were offering the courses that I want to lot to fit my purpose in life? Do you understand? Mm. So eventually, pursuing my purpose was far more important than going to school. So that's why I gave all, all I had from 16. I, set up my, uh, I registered my company when I was 17 years old. Whoa. You understand? I went to corporate affairs Whoa. commission. Yes, I didn't have. I didn't have. There was no. There was nothing to show. There was nothing to. There was no seed to plant. There was no nothing to. I just wanted to have the business registered. Was, we weren't talking about office. Nothing. You understand? I yeah. registered that company and did all that. But it's surprised to know that seven years later, after I was sure that I had a plan and a future to pursue, I went to school. I went to AAU. That was called Ed to Edo State University. I went got admission into sociology department, not even mass communication, the okay, they had more, not even the theater or the, I went to sociology department because like, like I said, my, my strong point, my passion for the entertainment business is in the A and R department, which is dealing yeah. with people. So I needed something that could help me with that pursuit. So I went, I chose sociology, which is, which is human, um, study human behavior, yeah, how actually, to manage yeah. people and all that. So, so that's what I went for. But you know what? Finally, I dropped out. <laughs> this is the first time I'm seeing it ever. <laughs> this is the first time I'm seeing it ever. I dropped out final year. I, I, I never spent a weekend in school. Maybe just one month. All through the four years, I was only going to Benin to, yeah. to direct choir in church, work in the studio. You and all that, or play in band. That's where I was making my money and pursuing my purpose. But yeah. it is surprising to know that education is key. Yes, yeah, the formal education is key. Yes. In the last five years, I have a mass certificate. I, I, right now, I'm studying mass communication at the Open University. I just got a certificate last night from the York uh, Film uh, Creative Academy. I yeah. just finished my second course from the York Film Academy. So it's not like education is not is not important. It is now at this time of my life that I know I'm I've settled something and I'm beginning to pursue do the paper qualification that will give yeah. um, credibility to what I, I do. So, you understand? Yeah. so I have loads I have loads of I'm doing lots of online courses both home and abroad that um that I should have done so many years ago. So that's basically my educational journey. <laughs> wow, like I like I said. Young people need to come and do tutorial in your house. <laughs> like I said, <laughs> you know, you know, because I mean, you know, I, I had I had an interview last week with uh, with um, uh, Oluinka Davis, I focus, and he he I told watched. me this. Yeah. yeah, he said he dropped out of the university just to go to South Africa to study filmmaking. So I think there's something about <laughs> dropping out of school <laughs> to go and pursue. <laughs> what you really want to do and you know it's beautiful all right um yeah. <clears throat> uh, a, a few things i want to I, I want to ask you your wife is also in the, the same business that you are into right talk yes, to couples yeah yeah talk to couples about working together you know um um a, a, a lot of people who are married feel that the idea and my wife cannot be in the same business while i'm not Yes, while I'm not a marriage counselor or I do not uh, publicly give my opinions concerning marriage, I believe yeah. that um, in yeah. principle, fundamentally, by God's design, the man and the yeah. woman were designed and created to work together. You understand? Yeah. The reason for Eve is because of the work that God gave Adam. That's basically it. And God saw that ah, the man was alone. It, it didn't yes. say God saw that the man was lonely. Adam was not lonely. It wasn't out of loneliness that God created him. He saw that he was alone in the assignment he gave to him. So he decided to create for him a help meet, a help suitable that should help him, him achieve 
faster the assignment that God has given to man. Yes, God gave us God gave man an assignment and empowered him to succeed. But he needed his super empowerment in the place of his woman to help him succeed. So I think we can argue that. So for me, the choice of marrying uh, my wife, John Paul, my wife that I married, wasn't out of um, uh, what you call butterflies. No, ah. our story is different. <laughs> no, no, no. It wasn't out of, oh man, you've been said, oh, no, no, it wasn't out of all that. It wasn't out of emotion. It was basically because of our purpose. Right, you understand? I, I my wife yeah. got married 10 years after our friendship. So the first four Whoa. years, we were just friends. Whoa. Yes, first four years, we were just friends. In, in short, she was the only female member of the group I was managing. So I was actually managing a group. Then she became the fem female ma uh, member. Uh -huh. Then later, we, we had to take her out of the group. I started managing her as an artist alone. So the first four yeah. years, we were just friends. We, I was dating yeah. somebody else. She was dating somebody, someone else. So it's not like we started out as a relationship. But as we kept working together, we kept um, investing together, we kept talking, it became obvious that everything that we were talking about, every project that we work on, shows that we were compatible enough to pursue the same goal. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yes, I said, I said, I, I said basically, yes, we started out as, um, as um, professionally, we were doing business together. She was my artist, she was an artist in a group I was managing. The first four years of our relationship, we were just friends. We were not dating, there was no, there was no discussion of um, all of these things. It was basically professional, you understand? But as we kept working together, we kept um, investing together. It was obvious that uh, we were built to pursue the same purpose. So yeah. my choice for marrying who I got married to is basically because of the assignment that God yeah. has given to me. Basically that. So that is, that is exactly what I think it yeah. should be. If um, the reason for, like I said, the reason for, uh, for Eve, is because God, God is the that God gives to Adam. You understand? God yes, said, sir. ah, it is not, it's not good for the man to yeah. be alone. It, the man was not lonely. Adam was never lonely. He was not yes, created sir. because of loneliness. He was alone in the assignment that God gave to him. So yeah. God needed to empower him to achieving that assignment faster and better. So he gave him the woman. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think, I think uh, by principle and fundamentally, uh, spouses should work together in achieving that assignment that God has called the man to do. That's what Amazing. I mean. Amazing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to ask you a question <laughs> about multiple streams of income for artists or for people in the creative space. Um, the reason why I'm going to ask you this is because I know that you are a master. I've heard you talk about this somewhere in a conference about why artists, I think either in a conference or in an interview, why artists should be able to not put all their eggs in one basket, but should be able to have multiple streams of income, maybe businesses that are born out of what you're doing, partnerships that will help you. So talk to our artists or people also that are in the creative space, um, how, or how they can begin to create multiple streams of income for themselves. Because this show is about life and part of life is business and money. When I, when I do training for my artists uh, on our, under our management, all I think <coughs> I, I teach is that talent is not enough. Yes, sir. The ability to perform is never enough. For example, an artist do not perform every day out of the 12 calendar months, yeah. 52 weeks in a year, 365 yeah. weeks in a year. The artist does not, record, does not record every day. You do not perform every day. You do not release content every day. So what happens to you? If in a whole year, uh, you only had the opportunity of releasing a single in 12 months, what happens to you? If you only have the opportunity of releasing an album in three years, what happens to you with the other month. So it is important to understand that the, when we say multiple streams of income, it is not what you find you go in search of externally. That's where we miss it. When we mm. ask people to learn how to, to make money uh, 
through other means. It is basically searching internally to find out what God has deposited in, in you. For example, a singer is not meant to sing alone. Mm. If you think that vocally, the only way you can uh, make impact, make money, and express your gift is to sing alone vocally. No, that is not it. I'll give an example. Jesus gave a parable and, and he said the master gave one, five, one, the other one, two, the other one, one. He, and he, he, gave, he, he specifically said he gave them according to their own ability, capacity, according to their yeah. several abilities. So if the guy that had capacity for five, the instruction was use the five, don't use only one. So when you are not singing, how have you discovered the other abilities that you have, the other talents that you have that should be activated? Yeah. Because it is possible, it is possible for you not to um, look at what happened during COVID-19, the lockdown. Yes, sir. A lot of people were off the scene, but a lot of people yeah. were making money. Yes. Personally, yeah, personally, I and my wife, we made so much money during the lockdown. Our business Come made so much. Come on now. You understand? In short, Come let me. On. I bought I bought a car during the lockdown. During the lockdown. From I, yeah, I'm not saying money I made pre-lockdown. The money I made during the lockdown during COVID-19. Stuck in the house in Lagos. Stuck at home, not moving. I bought a car. In money I made in four months. You know why? Because we diversified. Studios were not. I couldn't go to studio to produce anybody, but everybody that had content needed to sell content. So we are ready, we are available to sell. People that needed to, the hard content, needed to promote the content, we were ready to distribute and sell. So that, that's how I made money. So if you didn't have the opportunity to get invitations, to get shows to perform, the other abilities that you have, have you activated them? Do you understand? It's mm -hmm. got a lot of, a lot of the Instagram comedians now, check them and most of them are actually singers. That yeah. during lockdown, they put aside singing yeah. and discovered comic how to how to monetize uh, comic materials. So what we're saying is that don't be stuck um, to that thing you think will make you blow. My mentor said uh, in one of my seminars, I had one of my mentors from Ghana, uh, um, Ghana Reverend Ima said, "You said that you must understand that you have your primary talent. The secondary talent, do not throw them away." Mm -hmm. They are there to help you to complement that primary talent. So if yes, singing to you, you think is the primary yes, that that will that will create visibility for you. Uh, script writing, voiceover, graphic design, um, anything that you know that you have the ability to do that you you don't you will not be you will not go to coercion to do it. Develop those skills and activate them. That's how you build mm -hmm. your multiple stream of income. They're going outside the industry. They need to now understand how to go into investment. If you make 10 Naira, you need to know how, what is your gross profit and your net profit. What do yes. you save? What do you invest? Yes. Where do you invest it? Do you understand? Yesterday yes. I was checking one, uh, an app and I was looking at some investments I made two, three years ago. I smiled. I was kind of happy. You understand because my investments are growing. Money I make from music, from um, entertainment, I invest back into my business. You need to know when to invest. I was saying to somebody, is there somebody that I'm mentoring that wants to set up a studio, wants to go into production, yeah. blah, blah, blah. And I told him that this is not the time. This is not the season to invest <sighs> into music production. Yes, you sir. understand? Because ev everything has its time and its season. There's the time there's a season to plant corn, there's a season not to plant corn, there's a season yes. to harvest yam, there's a season not to harvest yam. So, even in our business between January and December, do you know the season for production? Do you know the season to promote? Do you know the mm. season for harvest that's so market can distribute? If yes. you should go into the season at the wrong time, you will miss it. So, I said to the chap, it's not the season to start asking me what can buy a one millionaire do, what can I buy to do with the production? No, the other things in the industry that you can put that money that into money that into will generate that. income. Mm -hmm. You're going to buy a sound card now, you buy mm -hmm. a MIDI keyboard, and you are looking at yourself, looking at the equipment. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. so that's mm -hmm. what I think. So primarily, look inward. <laughs> what are the abilities that you have? Personally, develop them and, and activate them for, for success. 
then get professional help in the areas that you do not understand. Any investment, it could be a POS stamina. Or by the also, <laughs> the day the also. Yeah, so I have POS stamina in the do state and in Lagos. I have investment in some things you will not believe I have investment in. Yeah. You understand? So yeah. you, you must begin to put all the money back in and honestly leave broke. Stay broke. Yes, sir. You understand? Leave broke and stay broke. Just keep investing because you know you know what I said to that young man. Sorry, I'm taking time on this. I said to young man that okay. you are good you are going to you are you are trying to invest on your passion. There's nothing wrong with it. But you know that when you invest so much in your passion, it doesn't bring returns or it doesn't bring returns early enough. Mm -hmm. You can invest into businesses that are that you are not passionate about. Passion means I can stay with 50 loops on my laptop all day and just drink water. I'm happy. But for how long will you be able to do that? Yes. You know what I'm saying? So invest into your yes, passion. Sir. I said to the guy that as I am now, I can't take half a million naira to go and buy any equipment this season. I can't try it. I rather put that money into a business, eh? even if he's selling Gary, that will do turnover for me in, in 30, 60 days. Yes. And I'll make profit. Yes. Telling me to go and buy a camera for $3,000 now. Eh? When I can hire that camera to do the same job. So we need to understand when to invest into your passion and how to invest into your passion. Then how to put that money into what we generate more income to now boost that passion. You get so spend yes. your money that you are making into other things yeah. that can you can take money from one source to really invest into that passion that you want to invest. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. So I'm busy writing because <laughs> I'm getting a I'm getting very <laughs> juicy information because I have to I have to write it down. I am tempted to ask you. Yes. Uh, what are the other businesses you do, right? And and the reason is this, because sometimes we talk, when we when, when we inspire people, we talk um, and people don't know, really know what the what the foundations are, what the real nitty gritties are, you know? So can you share with us some of the businesses you do, you know, maybe probably how you started one or two of them, uh, because sometimes people are waiting for, them to have all the money before they now begin to do. No. But it, there are some things you can start with literally nothing. Yes. You are very correct. Um, as a kid growing up, what I was passionate about is, was entertainment, music. I just wanted to have time to... I play piano. Piano is my go-to place yeah. for me to... Um, yes. So, I... I, I can lock myself in a room. This I've done too many times growing up. I'm an introvert, so I don't I'm not I don't really socialize. I can be on headphones, listen to music for hours. I can be on the piano playing for hours. I can be in the studio recording for hours. This is what I find passion. You understand? I started doing that a lot. Then like I said, the master give to one, five, two, one. Discover your several abilities, primary and secondary talents that you have. And at the point in my life, I discovered that I, I am a geek. I'm a, I'm a gadget person. I'm very, I'm, I'm, I, I know how to handle technical things. I can, yeah. yes, I'm, I'm tech savvy. Yeah. I can fix, I can operate anything. I can fix anything. So, and growing up as a young, a young guy, I discovered that I could, I could operate any equipment. I could install any equipment. I could fix any equipment. And I was doing it for free. Church members, family, friends, even strangers. Oh, man, somebody stuck with one computer. Oh, the one guy, they call KBQ, go PFP six times. So somebody uses this software. So people will come. I, I, I was doing all that down, and I was enjoying doing it because sometimes when you bring a problem to me, it, it motivates me to learn more. So I'll spend all my time reading. Then, then came YouTube, then came Google. So I would spend time trying to solve that problem. I eventually fix it, and I feel good about it. Yeah. But guess what? The moment I discovered that I was getting too many demands, sometimes in my office I'll have loads of computers to fix, uh, iPads, iPods, different things to fix. 
Some people are calling me, come to my church, come and install this for me, come and troubleshoot this at this, uh, at, at this club or something. I went to CSC, I registered the company, another company called M plus M Systematics. So what we do as M plus M Systematics, I said that's 16 computers. <laughs> I said that's doing software installation. So I, any software you needed, I, I, have, I have it for you to sell. So, so when you come and tell yes. you, oh, talk to my secretary, go and pay. So as I, I monetize that gift. Because come on now. <laughs> and I was in it free and I, and I enjoyed it. But I had to now set up a company, register it. Then yeah. that company does web solutions. We do web yeah. development. We do. We now have an, a hosting company, host website. We do app development. Book SMS. We, do, we sell book SMS with, with that company. We do all manner of, of ICT solutions. You understand? Because yeah. I now had the company to manage. I had to go and learn how to install CCTV and inverters. You understand? So we yeah. get jobs from that company. I have staff managing whatever. But I go out at the market, I get jobs, with, I install CCTV. I, because that is what I know how to do. Yeah. So I monetize that brand. You understand? Then, yes, sir. just um, last year, so basically everything I know how to do that I love to do, I said I monetize it, I said I open a company. I said I do businesses for them. You Come understand? I said I structures for them. Then I will pick somebody, train the person, and say you are in charge of this. So with that, that um, M plus M systematic, that's where uh, so many years ago I was in Benin City. Yes, I think it's about 10, 11 years. One of my back managers came to my office. We were talking, and he said very soon uh, there will be mobile banks everywhere, and they, they will call them agent banking. I said, explain to me, and he did. I said, let's track in it. Now, POS terminals are everywhere. Agent banking is everywhere. But somebody mentioned, one of my back managers mentioned it to me years ago. And it sounded strange. And he was telling me that there's always an urgent discussion that in the near future, individuals can, like my office, I can have a banner. People can come and deposit money, withdraw money. And it sounded very unrealistic then. But I took note of it. You understand? And I took my folder. For that company and i send in down mobile banking as part of the services that will render that will follow up so i tell the guys i bet you send me newsletters from your bank send me information from your bank so the moment uh the licenses were given to um, um uh, some some of these companies to start doing mobile banking i, I yeah. started registering when they started coming to Benin, I, I was part of the 10, first 10 or first 100 that became the aggregators. You understand? So yeah. that is how you are intentional. Yeah. See, opportunities do not come or opportunities do not knock anywhere. You are the one that will either create the opportunity, opportunity or go and yes, search sir. for it. So, and how does that happen? Like I said, it happens from the inside of you. Don't go around mm -hmm. searching for success. Success is already in you. It is basically sir. those thoughts, those imaginations. Sir. When it comes to your mind, that means it's something that you should develop. Don't just wish it away. Mm. You understand? The moment you think about something, write it down, turn it mm. down, and start looking mm. for who is making it happen, who is doing it already, how are they doing it. So that's basically how, if like last year, I'm have to set up another company called N and J Global. We've not launched the brand, we're still developing the brand. N and J yeah. simply means Noah and Juan Global. My name yeah. is Noah. My wife is Joan. My oh, kids, yes. my first son is Nell. My second son is Joel. So N and J. So why did you set up yeah. N and J Global last year? It's basically all the businesses that we do are directly linked to our passion, what we do, our talent and our creative ideas. So we need yeah. to do, not do a business that is outside of entertainment, fair, media, and IT. So we set up uh, an e-commerce website. So what we do with that aggregator model, we are now uh, sourcing for companies that have products and services to sell. Then we are done the intermediary, the interface to reach out to the users that need yeah. the services that we earn commissions. Whether it is this mm -hmm. business, real estate. So uh, we, have, we, have, we combine three models, e-commerce, social commerce, and uh, uh, e-commerce, social commerce, and uh, classified ads into yeah. that business. So Amazing. we sit down, we find, oh, Perry Martins has Gary to sell. 
we are looking for the other person that wants to buy. buy we take buy. your gallery, we sell to that person buy through our buy. platform, and that's yes, it. We get paid our commission. <laughs> that's that's you know I, I wanted to stop you to say ah I don't share your business idea on 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 air but I remember something <laughs> that, that Ali Baba said Ali Baba said that ideas are all over the place is execution is yes. the real thing yes. so I'm like okay don't worry eh? yes. <laughs> execution if you are ideas are littered all over the place but executing it is where you separate the men from the boys. Thank you so much. I'm learning so much, and I know all our listeners are going to really learn a lot. I'm going to ask you a very Thank important you. question about time. Um, tell us about the role of time in making everything to to mature. You know, we are, a lot of people in our generation, especially the young people, do not understand how time plays a role in making things. Someone may be looking at yourself now and saying, this is not working for me, that is not working for me. Or maybe, especially in entrepreneurship, can you talk to us about how time helps to mature things, especially in, in, some, in, in, in the life of an entrepreneur or someone that is pursuing a vision or a business? Okay. Um, growing up as a kid, uh, if, you, if you want to I'm um, talking about time um, in relation to what you ask. It has, yes. it has, um, yeah, so there's a lot of diversity to it. Time as in chronology, time as in being patient, time as in understanding the seasons. We can go on and on. Going yeah, about the let's make it short. Uh, <laughs> yeah, time, time, time as in dedication now. I yes. grew up to see my dad working hard. You understand? When I mean working hard, grinding it out. My dad can spend the whole of the night writing. He's on, he's on his reading table, he's writing. He's like, this is the man that he didn't get for my education like most of his pairs. But he, he, he always write his ideas that even illustrate. Sometimes I would look at his work notes, his notebook. He even draw, illustrate diagrams of, he will paint the picture of what he wants to do, the design. I have that trait today. Everything I do, I write it down. Sometimes I may not even write it in words. I write it in picture. I will sketch it just like my dad used to do. So I, I understand the place of dedication when it comes to time. Spending yeah. time to think about an idea. What my, my hardest, the hardest work I do is creative thinking. So today, my first son, my wife would say he's absent minded. I say no, he's not absent minded. He's thinking. Allow him to. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's Because yes. I was also misunderstood that way growing up. So I, I, what I did for my son is that I created space for him. I created a corner, built a small library for him, put the piano by the corner, give him a chair, sit down there and think. You understand? So for time, you need time to process your thoughts. You see. Uh, as a Christian, I believe in faith. Eh? You say faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word, or hearing the word of God. You, so what you hear and you meditate, we, de we, we develop into uh, a conviction. Hmm. So when you have that conviction, you become, you become confident that this is what I can achieve. That's what creative thinking does to me. Yeah. So I'm never afraid to pursue an idea because I've taken time to think about it to paint the picture of exactly what I want to see happen. So yes. for time, give time to study, give time to research, give time to meditation. Yes, then sir. time has been waiting, understand when to wait. Yeah. I can wait for an, I just said we started a business last year, we've not launched it. I can wait for an idea to, met, to metamorphose for five years. I'm that patient, I'm that patient and I can sacrifice mm -hmm. time to learn one thing, to wait, to hear people's opinion about it. So be sure that it's time to launch. Then also yeah. understand times and seasons. I mentioned it somewhere. You need to understand mm -hmm. that when people, sometimes people, there are some people I, I, I go to, like I was telling my wife last week, I said, I have a new mentor. And I told my wife that anytime I ask the man one, two, three, four questions, he, he only replies, wow. And ignore three, four, five. I mean, uh, two, three, four. 
I learned that I need not to push, not to be upset that he don't want to answer me. You understand? My relationship with this man, I, I, I learned that he doesn't owe me anything to explain to me or yes, to sir. tell me. But with time, I now understood that there is, when he ignores those other aspects of what my question, uh, my question I'm asking, it's because yeah. he said to teach me that I don't know how to explain it. It's because he's, he's not just ignoring me. He's, he's taking me through a process to understand that these things are not relevant now. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you must so, understand that sometimes even when you're, you're in haste to achieving a goal, and you must know if one of the things I've learned in two years is that there are some things you shouldn't push. Yes, sir. If you make an attempt one, two, three, four times, it will not relax. Mm. So, understand this time, uh, people say um, things will work out in time. I don't believe in that. People say give it time, it will work. I don't believe in that. I believe that you are in control of your own timing. So, Understanding how to plan your schedule, how to like my saying also already knows this. He wakes up every day, he has a to do this. He already knows the culture. My saying also knows that he has a to do this. You cannot come to me and say, Daddy, no, you must have a list. And recently, oh. I just that you don't really manage time, you manage yourself. You, you manage understand? yourself. So, yes, I, I, I hope I will be able to answer that question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, fat. You did more than just justice to the question. One last question before we, we round it up. You are in the gospel music community, and over time, you have been part of several um, efforts to coalesce the gospel music uh, community. You know, create an association, try to put some structure in place. But uh, it seems as if the efforts that were made over time, some of them don't really materialize or come to pass. I know there was a time there, there were several efforts to create like uh, an association or a gospel music community of some sort. Can you, you know, speak to us, especially some of us in the gospel music community, how we can begin to put some structure in place, you know, what the challenge is and how we can get about it to begin to create a structure that will help build the gospel music industry. I'm speaking to you now as a patron in this uh, in this space. Okay, um, we are not there yet. We are not there yet, but we are we are moving. We may not be flying yet. Maybe we're not even running, but at least we are crawling. Mm. Um, the gospel entertainment community is beginning to take shape. Yes, but for me, the major challenge is for us to two challenges. One for us to properly define. And understand the industry and the ministry where they meet. So yes. there's still a divide. Some people, some school of thought, think that no, this is all ministry. Don't talk about the business you need. You understand? Don't bring that to the church. Don't bring that to <clears> the <throat> fold. Why some people would see that no, this is business. This is how it should be. So you discover that at both extremes, most of us are missing it. You understand? For me, I think that it is one and the same. For Jesus as 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 at age twelve to say, why did they bother me? Don't you know I'm about my father's business? Mm. If 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 at age twelve Jesus understood that kingdom work, it's called kingdom it's business. business. I don't see why we are missing it. Then you should understand that I'm a minister. I tell people that I'm a music missionary. I'm a crazy evangelist. Yes, sir. So. I mean, professionally, I'm a music business executive. I go to work like, like the doctor goes to work. I go to work like the lawyer goes to work. I work in the corporate environment. I'm a professional. But I understand my assignment and I understand my calling. So as a minister, my pulpit is not in the church. My pulpit is in the street. You understand? And mm -hmm. my, the, my sphere is entertainment, art, and media. You understand what I'm saying? So that's why I do business. That's my market list. And that's also my ministry. Yeah. So I understand better what God is asking me to do in this space or this phase and yes. what he's expecting me to do also. So if you understand that, that as a Christian, 
that your assignment is in the, the place is in your is in the market place in the place of your assignment. For example, mm -hmm. if you are passionate about education, that is your assignment. If you are passionate about family, that's your assignment. If you are passionate about sports, that's your, that's where your assignment really is. Yeah. So you cannot separate the two to say uh, uh ministry. What we understand by ministry is church. No, mm -hmm. church is not ministry. You understand? Mm -hmm. Church is a yes. part of the ministry. Yes, you know, so it's like say it's like saying uh i i'm a member of this denomination i'm not a member of any denomination i mean i'm a member of the body of christ but so, I'm, I'm the church that goes to fellowship in a denomination we understand what it is so yeah professionally for us to be able to take the industry to the next level first challenge that we must yeah. overcome is to understand that we have one primary assignment and you cannot take away the ministry from the industry you need to understand how both work to be able to, for us to be able to conquer there are three things we must do serve god impart people and make money yes, we don't sir. have any other thing we want to do number one I, serve I like god impart people and I, make I, money I like yes Lord, that Lord, is, there's not that story make money. i need to write that down <laughs> yes <laughs> all right sir. oh so, my goodness yeah i'm listening to you so sir. That's it. all right sir yeah, thank the you the second challenge is what, what we all know Yes, the second challenge is synergy. The synergy. We are not able to define and separate collaboration from synergy. In the gospel entertainment, just we collaborate well enough. At least we are beginning to understand that uh, area of fellowship. We can collaborate very well, but collaboration is temporal. Synergy is everlasting. Synergy is uh, KBK and Perry Martin, gospel entertainment and Proclaim Media. Eh? Mm -hmm. Understanding that we are complementary competitors. And as yes, competitors, sir. our our consuming competition is immoral entertainment. So we mm. must work together in synergy, pull forces together. Because look at it now: one will chase one thousand, two will chase ten thousand. Mm. What kind mm. of mathematics is that one? That's geometry now. So <laughs> if mathematics and KBK put forces together, we'll chase ten thousand. Yes, sir. So the examples of synergy that we need to now understand. Uh, mm. hey, so those two things define the the assignment clearly then work together as one indivisible body and we are good uh thank you so much uh sake bk i'm going to take this particular last uh, phrase that you use that our primary responsibility is to serve god make impact and make money i like the last part <laughs> make money. thank you so much yes, sir. You're very important uh, on, on the show uh we have run out of time i don't want us to um encroach into the hour so that's why uh, i have to cut this show today so thank you and uh to everyone who has thank listened you. to us you've heard so much i believe that uh, this program would help you to you know make some very important decisions on what you want to do with your life thank you sake bk and uh, please whenever we also thank call you. you please answer us so that we'll be able to always impact our thank all, you so much all right sir. all right sir. have a have a nice day have a nice day sir okay so people it was nice talking to kbk wow he started his first business at 17. that is something that personally <laughs> I, I i used to you know I used to take pride in that, you know, I, I caught the business bug early, but I mean, 17, that's, that's very early, right? That's very early. So uh, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to share uh, this video, like, comment this video. It is Life with Paramatics. My name is Paramatics. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.